Hello friends, I'm Gaurav here from Logicubes and in this video we are going to start C programming and we are going to do our first structured programming. Okay, before getting to the programming, I wanted to share a fact that believe your computer don't know anything except just operating your commands. This fact is very important one because it reminds again and again that when you are programming anything you need to include every basic things your program needs to project the right output for you like in C program we are going to include lots of libraries we are going to fun include functions and so on. okay and yes I mean uh, Dan Suchi has written all the C, uh, syntaxes of the C language and we are applying those logics to this uh, using those syntaxes and what computer is doing computer is just operating as per the syntax and producing output for us so computer just operates it so remember your computer don't know anything except operating okay so uh, we are going to begin with the programming we are using this program jsc plus plus as our compiler and here it is it, its windows seems like this so for generating our first program ui we are going to file new and source file by this we are we are going to have a editor here a text editor here and here we are going to write our program this you can also do by using the control n shortcut key okay and next step we are going to we are going to save this file now saving the file is very important because before you do uh, programming you start programming please save the file and this is also a good habit actually so uh, we are saving it like hello.c now this dot c is an extension for c source file or you can also select it from here the c source file okay this defines that the file here is a c source file so we are saving it like this okay now it says that we are here in this hello c and now we are going to uh, develop our first program and that program is to print a hello world okay simply printing a, a message into the console so uh, for that we are going to include our first very important function in c that is main okay uh, in this c++ press press, you can press f12 and enlarge the screen so uh, that will be visible for you and me too. So uh, we included our first function that is main, okay, and followed by these parentheses. Now, what these parentheses are used for? Parentheses are used for defining the parameters or passing the parameters in the function from one point to another. Okay, here in this main function, we are not including any any parentheses, uh, any parameters here, because this main function is used by the compilers to know that this is where all the codes are done and other functions that we are going to call later is defined or called under this main so main contains our main program and other function contains our operation so uh, this is main and now when you call a function everything that operates under function is under these curly brackets now it is a good habit when you start a curly bracket or parenthesis like thing you just close it because that need, needed to be closed afterwards and when you are writing a very long code you may miss these things these basic things okay so we just we are just ready with the main function another thing the next thing we are going to include is the return type return okay return and we are returning here zero now why this return okay main main is a function and what the function does function operates its parameter and give the return give the return value where the function are called as so here is the return by this we return the value to where it is called the function is called so this is here we are not returning anything we are just returning zero here okay and so now we are going to uh, write a function called printf and as it is a function we are using this parenthesis and a terminating point this terminating point is very important because uh, uh, if you miss it then computer will think that uh, this these two lines are actually a single line like this and this is very important as to because this terminates a line of code okay you can also write the program like this but all these things fill here is a white space and a compiler ignores the white spaces and reads it, it like a single line till 
it reached this terminating point. Okay, so now we are here with our printf function, and we are going to include a simple string in here that is hello world. Okay, fine. I am including I am Goro. Fine. So now this is a simple main function for us. That a simple, very simple, very first uh, C uh, C program for us. Now it is a good habit to save the program. Okay, when uh, your program is not saved, here is a simple uh, is a symbol here. When you save it, uh, Control S, the symbol is gone. Okay, fine. That's amazing. Now see, uh, we are here to uh, we are load the program here. Fine. Okay, in a C programming language, in a C programming language. The compilation is done in the two important phases. Like when we return the program and we saved it like a simple uh, .c file, we saved it like C projects, and here is the C file. Okay, but when we are going to compile it, now in a C uh, program, we do it in two ways. We first the compile the program, and what compiler does? Compiler generates an object code like our program is hello.c so compiler generates a uh, object code like hello.o and so computer uh, operates that hello.o object code and generates an exe file okay so first we are going to compile this you uh, you can do it by two ways execute and then use this compile okay fine it is done or you can use control f9 to do it okay now this says that Okay, your object code is generated. Your uh, program is all done, all fine. No issues with the programs. No errors. No warnings are there. And so now we are ready to run the program. Now close it and let's go to the folder and see. Now here we have a hello.exe. So this says that our program is well executed and now the executed uh, executing file is there. So uh, when you run this executed file here you can run it by control f10 or click run here you will see a screen for a while okay now what is this problem this problem is is actually in a c we need to uh, we need to add a function get ch okay before the return remember before the return you need to add the get ch okay so uh, by this get ch what it does it holds the screen until and unless user closes Okay, so now save it, compile it, close it, and now run the program. And yes, we are here. The console says this is the console of the C output. Okay, this is the console of the C output, and the console says, Hello world, I'm Gaurav. And hi, I'm Gaurav. So, this is how we uh, used to program into the C. This is our very first basic programming language. In next class, we are going to get further deeper into the C programming language. I hope you are going to watch the video but before that please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment with this video if you liked it. Okay, so let's check out the, our next programming, uh, programming in our next video. Thank you.